On Marathon Monday, Tufts Medical Center inherently goes into disaster mode, no matter what. However, last year was a true disaster. Despite the help from bomb squads, police, and military personnel, Tufts had its own army of emergency planners. This group is headed up by Rob Osgood, the Emergency Management Director. Osgood has many degrees and experience that help him do his job efficiently. However, on April 15, 2013, that training seemed to slip away. As someone that sort of uh, has done this um, uh, throughout my entire career, you know, starting in uh, EMS, working on the ambulance, uh, and then working here at Tufts Medical Center in the emergency department uh, as a technician and a senior technician, and then moving on to become emergency management director, uh, you know, these are sort of one of those days that uh, despite all of the education and all of the drills and the exercises and the certifications. Um, this is one of those days that you plan for, but you hope that you never actually have to participate in. Despite the enormity of the tragedy, Osgood and his team were able to handle the situation with the help of a vital command center. I had the chance to tour the center while speaking with Osgood about how they controlled the hospital during the bombing and how they will go about the marathon this year. So last year we had our command post already activated and that's where I was when we were alerted by the city of Boston of the explosions at the finish line. Um, so from there uh, I assisted with huddling up and getting everybody in the ED together, talking about what our incident action plan is, what our priorities are and how we're going to take care of these patients. Uh, and then actually came up here to our command center, which is where we are now. Um, and that's when we activated what's called our incident command system or our hospital incident command system uh, in conjunction with our senior leaders and our department directors uh, and talked about house-wide and organization-wide how we're actually going to manage this incident. This year for the Boston Marathon, most of our planning isn't so much focused on anticipating uh, an adverse incident during the event such as we saw last year. Uh, we certainly hope that never happens again. Uh, and what would be great would be if all of the disaster plans and response plans that I write never come into use. This year, we're actually putting our focus mainly on b the scale and scope of the marathon being so much bigger. You know, with an additional 9,000 runners uh, and anticipated, you know, three times the size spectator field and an unknown amount of bandit runners, um, we don't know what we're going to see for patient volume. Um, so we're really taking a lot of precautions and pulling out all the stops. We actually started planning for this at the medical center back in November. Um, and we've actually, for the past eight weeks or so, done a lot of um, weekly meetings, not just with the emergency department, but housewide. You know, with the medical center, we don't treat Marathon Monday as an emergency department event. Uh, we treat it as a Tufts Medical Center housewide event. So we have everybody at the table. This year, all of the same precautions will be taken. Policies will be given out, meetings will be debriefed to all staff, and a medical tent will be set up outside the ER. Osgood was able to give me an overview of what goes into setting up the tent. So we actually set up our own medical tent uh, here at Tufts Medical Center uh, outside of our ambulance bay. And what we do is we take our tent that we would typically use for like hazmat operations and decontamination. Uh, we take all the plumbing out of it and we set it up outside with cardiac chairs. And that's where we treat some of our lower acuity patients that are associated with the marathon. So we put them in these big comfortable chairs in the tent. We have the tent nice and the, the air is adjusted just right. Um, and we can have people go out there with family members that can kind of keep them company. And we put them out there and they hydrate. Uh, and they actually really enjoy it, especially if it's a nice day on Marathon Monday. Um, but we start our IVs in there and uh, just get our people hydrated and these injured runners. They're outside. It's nice weather. And um, we put a staff member out there with a computer and a lot of supplies. Um, and it goes really well. After speaking with Osgood, it seems that Tufts is in good hands. So no matter what happens this year, whether it's another influx of bomb trucks or just dehydrated runners, Tufts has it covered. For JR 103, I'm Olivia Gibbons.